Information and Resource Service, and I want to welcome everybody to New York City! We've got a whole lot of flags over here. Uh, some people are carrying them. These flags are for you to carry. So pick them up. Carry them down to 11th Avenue. It's going to be a whole lot more people coming here uh, over the next hour as this rally goes on. But we want to start with a very uh, special thing, which is that poet Marge Piercy uh, could not come here today, but she did give us two new poems uh, to read on her behalf today. And uh, if you know Marge Piercy, uh, that really is a special treat. Reading them is going to be Mary Olson, who's director of uh, our office in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, she's also going to be emceeing the rest of the show. Uh, I will be over here handling sound and any questions or problems anybody has. Feel free to contact me. Uh, but let's bring up Mary Olson. We have quite a lineup for you today. I'm going to be going up and down, and we've got wonderful voices and music. And if you're here to speak or perform, please come to this corner of the area so that we can get people up and down quickly. We have a lot to share today, and I am so honored to share these poems from Marge Piercy. When I was only 14 years old, and that was 40 years ago, I heard her read her own poem to be of use, and it changed my life. I hope that these poems will go into your heart. We can't see that wind for Pilgrim Nuclear Reactor. We live on the side of an invisible volcano of poisonous energy, never able to guess the moment it will come to our homes and kill us. It could overheat, blow up, could leak, could release a tainted cloud drifting over the bay, enter us through every trusting portal, filter into the precious water table under us, shaped like the hull of a boat, color the soil with its intangible dye till every tree soaks it up, every squirrel, every chipmunk, and deer, every koi wolf, and cat, and dog. It eats into their wasting genes. Our children, our children will bathe in it, will consume it for breakfast, will sleep in its silent waves. The decade of cancer comes. The next time a worker is sloppy, when the earth quakes hard, when a hurricane or a terrorist strikes, that aging factory of death. Marge lives in wealthy Massachusetts. 